Hey GMS, I have a really simple but fun project for you called Surrealism Collages. This is something that I love to do is to do collages and so I want you to experiment in the world with me. So what is Surrealism? So let's get that started. Um, surrealism, that's an art movement that began in the 1920s. This is a parody to the right of a famous and surrealist painting by Salvador Dali. This is the persistence of memory, and a lot of people refer to it as the melting clocks. But surrealism unlocks the power of imagination. It's unrealistic, it's dreamlike, and it's fantasy. You probably hear people use the term, oh, that's so surreal. Well, what they mean is it's dreamlike. So here it is. Here is the actual artwork of Salvador Dali, persistence of memory. All those melting clocks and everything. Here's another well-known surrealist, the beautiful relations, Renee. Um, I always mess up his name, so I'm not going to say it. I have to, I'll have to do some practicing, but he has wonderful, wonderful um, surrealist work. Um, you all probably will recognize it. There's like a lot of movies that use his work as an inspiration. Vla Valdemir Kush. Here's his. Look at the shoes that make the bridge. Very creative. I like this because it really lets your imagination fly. So here, what is a collage? So we know what surrealism is, but what about collage? So um, I am going to give you a little definition. A collage is a visual representation made from an assembly of for, uh, different forms, materials, and sources creating a new whole. So a, a collage may include newspaper clippings, ribbons, bits of colored or handmade paper, portions of other artwork, photographs, and they are glued, but in present day, a lot of people like to do collages on the computer, so they Photoshop them to a solid canvas for support. Now, collage is actually a French word, and it means to glue. So instead of having that whole definition, I think the French do it best. It just means to glue, so you glue together. Here is a, a another surrealist artist, Kurt. Schweeters. He um, lived from 1887 to 1948. He was a German artist known for exactly what we're doing, these surrealist collages. He is the father of installation art and a pioneer of using collage and abstraction, the two uh, transformative uh, innovations of the 20th century. And he influenced a lot of other artists, and one in particular is Jasper Johns. And we did a American flag mosaic um, inspired by Jasper Johns. So and he is still living and is um, one of the most highly celebrated American artists. So he was influenced by this German and here, let's get to the project. Well, we're going to make our own surrealist collage. So here's our materials. We need a blank paper for the support. We need magazines, newspapers that we're going to cut apart and assemble together. You need scissors to cut and glue to glue. So let's collage. So we're going to be creating a surrealist collage using images from a magazine or newspaper. Search your magazine newspapers for interesting images. Play with layering them over each other, overlapping, maybe cut one completely out and then use one as a backdrop. Just have fun, experiment with it. There should be no empty white space showing on your paper. So make sure that everything is completely covered. Think about the positive and negative space in your comp um, composition. So think about how you want to use it and and when you get a composition you like glue it so a composition that's a fancy art word that means is the arrangement of elements within a work of art so once you get it looking the way you want then you glue it down secure it so i wanted to go through that's pretty simple project so you may start making one a collage and get inspired and just make tons because i know when i get done and um, get to going with collages i just continue creating, 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 and sky's the limit. So just keep doing that. And here are some examples of surreal collages. Um, this one I like.
creepy. So it looks like you, um, he cut the face off and then put a different magazine piece in behind it and then layered it, overlapped it. Uh, here is tight. Oh, is it a tightrope or a bridge coming out of her mouth? This woman making Swiss Alps. That's it. Cool how they did kind of that negative with the solar system. Same artist. So you got to be really very particular about how you cut out. Oh, that's funny. Have fun. You may come up with a million billion ideas. This is very spooky. Right now that I'm filming it, it is October 27th. So that is very appropriate for the time since it's almost Halloween. These are neat. See, sometimes when you cut away from one picture, those leftover images are not things to be thrown away. They're not trash. You can just use them for something else, as you can see. And that's pretty cool. It looks like she's asleep on the beach. They can be simple, but so interesting. Oh, that's funny. So when you get done, make sure that you send me a picture. I, want, I love seeing everything you all work with. Love to see your finished products. So um, there's my email, my TikTok, and my Facebook. So get social with me. Have fun and be creative.